my play pals thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're new to our channel click that red subscribe button ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos so today i'm going to show you guys some more looks that i created for my lol surprise omg dolls guys but before we get started i wanted to talk about something all over the internet they have been talking about these lol surprise omg dolls that are coming out later this year it is series three guys and i am so excited i don't know if you guys have seen some of the leaked pics that are out there but they are amazing let me tell you there's four girls and these four girls first of all we've got chillax we've got class prez we've got roller chick and we've got the boss there have actually been some leaked photos where you can get a better look of what the doll probably looks like inside the box and some of the accessories that comes with her but I think it is awesome and I just cannot wait and I know I'm gonna probably get multiples of these dolls and I just wanted to thank um, some folks um, surprising toys actually showed some of the leaked pics and stuff like that and then also you love it dot com has some great like insider information and also i want to get a super shout out to one of my awesome subscribers a buddy of mine who also has a youtube channel she is phenomenal in, at what she does she is like a private investigator for all things omg and lol surprise so you want to go check out her channel it's omg tv i'll include a link below so you guys can check her out but guys without any further delay let's go ahead and get to these looks Okay, so I can't get enough of Neonlicious. She is an OG, guys. And today she has on one of my Snapstar tops and a skirt that I got from Haunt Couture, which I really like. And I kind of paired it with a little belt. And I thought that that was a cute little look for her. And then she's got on these shoes that I've used multiple times before, but that kind of rounds out the outfit. A couple things I did want to point out. I did kind of trim her locks. Um, she had those long pieces of hair that hung down and they really just didn't seem very useful to me. They just got in the way. So I took them off, <laughs> at least on this one, because I have like three Neonliciouses, I believe. So anyway, on this one, I did give her a bob. And then also, um, I have a question. So this is a snap star top. Does anyone know why there's a P on here instead of like an S? I have no idea. I've always wondered that. But anyway, this is the look, guys, that I created for Neonlicious. So now we have alt girl guys and I did something a little different with her. I actually took Lady Diva's little like jacket and I cut the jacket guys. The sleeves were too long for me. I, I styled it and I actually have two Lady Divas so uh, it, it you know it didn't bother me to actually cut the sleeves off. I just trimmed those sleeves off and what I did <laughs> I created kind of like little fur for her shoes on the so the sleeves I just took them off and then put them you know at the bottom and I created my own little pearl necklace and I actually you know got it from some accessories um, often I go to places like Joanne fabric and I get some little things like this and I just use it for accessories earrings whatever usually I already have some sticky stuff on it so it's pretty easy to adhere to the doll's body and then sometimes what I'll do is I will use a little bit of eyelash glue it's kind of temporary oops you can't read it but it's kind of temporary and sometimes I use that it's like a clear glue I even use that to put on my eyelashes on my dolls uh, so that I can take them off pretty easily and it doesn't actually you know I don't want to use real glue like super glue or anything like that because it would ruin my doll but anyway so I do that so this is the look that I created for her and I think it looks really really cute of course she has on Uptown Girls little boy shorts and her hose and stuff. I got little runs in there, but I think that goes great for an alt girl. But anyway, this is the look that I created for alt girl. So swag is back guys. And I gave her a, a much different look. I gave her, she's all in the checks and the hound's tooth and stuff like that today. So she's got the little jacket on that I think is so cute and adorable. This is Neonlicious's jacket. Um, this little top underneath I got from Haunt Couture. And I think this is a Barbie skirt. And her shoes are Monster High because you know, guys know that I love Monster High shoes. She's got little dice on the front and that is cute and a little spider on the back. So that is a really cool look for her. She's got her little like earrings and her glasses. And so guys, this is the look that I created for swag. Snowlicious looks adorable today, guys. She really does. So she has on a little hat. And just so you guys know, this little hat is actually mittens for newborns. I saw the little mittens and I thought, oh, that would probably make a great hat for my OMG doll. So I got it, got it at Walmart and they had a couple of different kinds. 
and when I purchased this, it actually came with two sets. So you'll probably see me use uh, the other one. The other one is a hat in the future. And I could probably make a little skirt or something out of it too if I wanted to. But I thought that that was cute for her. And then she's got on this little like cat uh, t-shirt. And I believe this cat t-shirt is probably a Barbie t-shirt, but I think it's so adorable. And then she's got on the Na 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 Surprise shorts. And then she has on skates, guys. Earlier I was talking about Roller Chick and the fact that I'm excited about her. And so anyway, before Roller Chick, I had my own Roller Chick and my own little skates. And these skates actually work. I think they're monster high though, but they are so cute. Love these skates, guys. Whoop. And so this is a look that I created for Snowlicious. So this is Downtown BB, guys, and she is wearing black and white today to highlight her lovely, lovely lips. Um, she actually has on Uptown Girls glasses, and this little top is a Switch -a Witch top. This is like a really, my, one of my go-to pieces. I wear it like a skirt, I wear it like a top, I do all kinds of things with it. And so she's got this little skirt. I kind of made it like a mini skirt and pulled it up a little higher for her because I thought that was cute. And then she has on these monster hot boots. And so guys, this is a look that I created for Downtown BB. So Dazzle is up next. And what I did with Dazzle is she actually has on a top and a bottom that's Barbie. And what I did was I put Neonlicious's little like overall skirt over the top of it to give it a little different look and to top it off she has these boots nice so this is the look that i created for dazzle royal bee is definitely one of my favorites and she looks good in almost everything she has on her original little jacket but a barbie top and what i did different this time is i gave her a jean legging but it's sparkly and so that is cute and then i gave her these lovely lovely boots so she is decked out all in silver and gold guys and this is the look that i have for royal bee busy bb is looking different today she has a bit of a grunge goth look or whatever and i love the little glasses she's got the mix match uh little earrings on and this dress is actually a sparkle girls dress look at the little skull and stuff it's got roses and everything so that is a, a cute little look for her and i just really thought it went well with these boots they are actually wild hearts crew and so i thought it went well with this outfit and so this is what i created for busy bb 24k dj is wearing this lovely little dress and i actually had this dress for a while and i just i don't know in the pack it looked eh, it looked all right but when i put it on her and, and the little kind of split opened up i thought it looked so adorable i love these little lace-up shoes on her and i thought it went well especially with the kind of split in the skirt going up like that so i thought that that was an awesome look so guys this is what i created for 24k dj so here's angles and you guys know that i'm always trying to find new ways to style her it's a little difficult sometimes because of her hair and her lips and everything but I found this little dress it's a sparkle girls dress and the dress actually has a little top underneath and this but they're connected so I may decide to separate them so I can have her wear the dress sometime without the top but I think that's cute I love the little belt and of course sparkle girls has some really cool things you kind of have to keep checking them out uh, because they have so many things and it's just a random kind of situation in terms of what you can get um, when you go in the store and then also look at these shoes guys really really cute I thought the blue went well with her hair and so that's the reason why I put that on today for her but this is the look that I have for angles so crystal star she is a superstar and today I have her wearing a cute little look she's got almost like a prom dressy type look this is actually a boxy girls dress I had to do some things to get it to fit I had to do some cuts and some tucks and some you know different things like that but we got it on and these shoes are some monster high shoes I believe I made the little necklace for her so she could have some bling to match the bling under her eyes but this is the look that I created for crystal star last but not least we've got lady diva and she is wearing an ensemble that comes first from this right here is a jacket like top that is a part of the sparkle girls and a set that i got it actually didn't come with these pants but i put them together and so the pants are also sparkle girls and i thought that looks great on her and then this little top here is actually a 
Pompon Couture top. I decided to go with yellow accessories to kind of give it a little pop um, in terms of color. And then her shoes that she has on, they're just some gray kind of slides. And the reason why I wanted just something simple is I wanted something because these pants are rather long and boots and um, some of the other shoes and things like that wouldn't go very well with that. So guys, this is the look that I have for Lady Diva. So guys, that was all 12 looks that I had for you today. You guys let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. But as usual, I wanna let you guys know which one was mine. So my favorite look today was the look that I created for Alt Girl. What I liked about it was the pink and the black. I liked the pearls uh, that I made and I thought that went well. It actually went well too with the little pearls on her little like uh, earmuffs. And I also like the fact that I cut the little jacket that is a part of Lady Diva's jacket and then I created like fur for shoes. So guys, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Like the video and share it with others. But guys, that's all we had today on Instant Ride Play. But before we go, I just wanted to say even if you have a hard day, we hope you find some time to play, and we'll see you next time on Instant Right Play. That's what it's all about. We are